the false front of people. They're going nowhere. They'll experience, yes, a little bliss in their life. Not joy, a little bliss. They will have moments of ecstasy, yes. Moments. They may even be rich. They won't be in love. Because love communicates what is real. And if suffering is what is real for somebody, to love is to communicate that. Communicate what's real. What has energy behind it? People pretend that they don't do that, but they do. Nobody's special here. When they're alone, broken, sober, it's a terrifying experience for everybody. It is for me. It's terrifying. Yeah, it's true. <coughs> because everything you think you know about yourself, that you tell everybody all day long that you know about you, when you're alone, broken, sober, it's not real. Then you're left with what? What is real? which you can't know. You can only have that presence. It's, it's very bizarre. But if we could break one habit, at least in this country alone, please, quit lying about how you actually feel, what's actually going on with you. Tell the truth. Well, you know what? I'm feeling really horrible today. I can't seem to understand what I'm doing. I can't seem to understand why I'm doing something. Most people are going to run from you if you do that. Well, guess what? Well, then you just cut the chaff from the wheat. You just pulled the weeds from your garden. You just got the distraction out of your fucking way. Anybody who's going to do it, done. It's over. Right? So you just can get rid of most of the bullshit right there by being honest. Because anyone who won't stick around for your honesty doesn't love you. The ones that love you is when you're sitting there in a mess, they're right next to you. Not trying to say it'll be okay. Just being there with you and throwing you energy. So you can make it over that little hump you're that's what's beautiful. This confrontative, attitudinal, just disrespectful way of being. Isn't it annoying? I just annoy the hell out of you. You know, all it is is people are afraid. So they do that so they don't show you how afraid they are. Bullies. Bullies are you know, like the schoolyard bully. The minute anybody goes up to him and absolutely abs just actually takes them on, you see they're cowards. It's the same thing. Anybody who, you know, if you have a, a strong conviction about the way you live your life and someone has a complaint about that, or geez, whatever, any of that, they're reacting to it. It's, it's not like it does anything to you that they do that. I mean, you can react to it, too, if you want. You can play the stupid game. But anybody who has the negative reactions to how someone else is living, they're afraid of it. Why else would they react negatively to it? It's, it's a fear mechanism. They don't understand it, so they push it away. Reject it. But if you reject what you don't understand, how are you ever going to know anything else? How are you ever going to grow? can't reject what you don't understand. But you embrace what you don't understand, right? Don't you? You should. It seems to me to be a good way to go. Because then you will. Don't reject what you don't understand. And you'll understand it. Eventually. 
You might be slow. I guess it all depends on your commitment. It all depends on how much time you're going to put into it. Yeah, pe people, it's 